Hi everybody, I'm Mikey and this is part of the Advent Calendar series that is a crochet along. For those working on the crochet along with me, every few days a new video will be available to advance you to the next part of your project. There are 15 tutorials in all to complete today's project. If you're finding this and the crochet along is done, all videos will stay up indefinitely. In the more information of this video, you'll find a link to the playlist where all the tutorials will be listed in order for you to play along. The entire pattern is now available for free. For those who don't need a video, refer to the video description to get redirected to the pattern. So in the meantime, let's begin with today's tutorial to advance you to the next step and of course wishing you the very best of the festive season ahead. So the next ornament is the candy cane and this consists of two chains that are coiled together and then what you have to just do is at the end of it you're just gonna tack it to form the permanent uh, loop over so that when it's hanging then it doesn't lose that and it doesn't wanna straighten up. So that's kind of a cool idea uh, of the decorations. This is probably the easiest. So we're gonna get started now. You need to make two coils that are exactly identical to each other and then twist them around and then we're gonna tack it to be able to form that as well. So technically you can kind of unwrap it if you really wanted to at this point but they're kind of coiled because of the way that it's designed. So let's begin to do the candy can next. So let's begin. We're going to use a five millimeter size H crochet hook today. Of course you're carrying Simply Soft and then you're just going to start off with the slip knot on your hook. You need to chain a total of 20 and you have to do this twice. So use white the next time you're doing it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So once you have your 20 done, then you're just gonna go third chain from the hook and you're gonna do a three a half double crochets. So just count it back. So one, two, and three and get the back loop of the third one and half double crochet two times. So once you have that one done, every chain now until the end of the chain is each gonna get three half double crochets. So we just go into the next one, same the back loop only. So one, two, and three. And keep doing that all the way down your chain. So the next chain is three half double crochets. And do that and because you're putting in three half double crochets in each one of them, you're going to form the automatic coil because you're putting in way too many stitches in a chain. So it'll wanna do a wrap and you can see it's already starting to do it now. So please do that all the way down the end chain. I'll see you at the end of this chain. So when you get to the end, you're just going to just trim it and then just pull this off. Now don't get rid of this strand yet. Just hang on to it because what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use that to tack it down to create the loop going down. So what I want you to do now is that I want you to start up with white and do the same one with white. So chain your 20 and then half double crochet third chain from the hook twice and then each one all the way down is another three half double crochet. So please do the white next and I'll be right back. So I got my white one done and I'm just going to do the exact same thing leaving an extra long tail to be able to finish that off. So now I have to put the two together. So what I want you to do is leave the tails at the top of this and interweave starting at the base. So this will be the bottom of the candy cane. So taking both and it takes me a little bit of practice to do it but you want to put them so that they're lined up to each other just like this right at the base. And so now you're just going to intertwine them together in order for them to work it itself out. So it, sometimes it takes a little bit of practice. I've done this before. <laughs> it took me forever <laughs> just to figure out how things are going. But you're just gonna put them together and twist them and making sure everything's good. So when I come back, I'll have that done for you and then I'll show you how to tack it at the very top. So right now it looks like a candy cane stick. It's not actually turning. So what I want you to do, the two strands that are your starting strands, when you started your project, they're gonna be smaller of course and uh, depending on you of course but these ones are not the ones that you ended with. I want you to just to tack them down so just put them onto a darning needle like so and just put them down so they actually go through some strands all the way down and then just let them pop out somewhere else and then you get rid of those. That's how it's done on the original. So just pull them out down and so that they're out of your way and you don't need to really worry about these later. Okay so it's out of your way just kind of stretch it back up to where it should be and then cut where those are pe peeking out at the bottom. You can clean those up later if you want to. So kind of twist it back. So the other two are the ones that you ended with. So I want you to put those on. Make sure that they're the same length 
and throw those into a darning needle and we wanna tack that down. So if you look at it here, okay, so the red one is tacked to this one here. So you can count it back, so one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we'll do that here. <laughs> Hopefully it works out. But you know, just line it up and make it look good. So we have those in and so we wanna tack it down Okay, to the red. So one, two, three. It all depends how tight you make these things too. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it like that. Okay, so it is the fourth one. So I'm just gonna take this here and I'm just gonna tack it into a section right here. Just wanna grab some fiber so it'll just hold it. And then when I pull, it'll have it turned down. So you're gonna tack it. So then just put it back onto your <laughs> darning needle if it falls off. Live camera, you gotta love it, right? So put those back on. So I've already gone through once. So now what I want to do is now that I've gone through once, I wanna go through just in another section, deeper in, and I wanna go down through the base. So this is like right in the middle of it. So I'm just dragging the strands down into the project. And then go back up. Again, stay on the inside of the project. And then go back down in. So I went in and out a total of three times, which will hold it into position. And so now I can just trim it at the base here. And now I can shape everything I need to shape, get it all nicely done up again, just give it a good twist. And now I have the permanent turn over, just like this. So now I want to provide a little loop on the top to hang it from my Christmas tree. And we're gonna do that next. So let's do the loop at the top, leave an extra long strand, create your slip knot, and I want you to chain nine. So we've been doing this all along with the advent calendar stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine, done. So just leave an extra long tail for that one. And pull that through and give it a good yank on both sides, fold it in half and just pull it so that the strands are in equal length and if they're not, just cut it. So then put those onto a darning needle. So I'm putting them both on there and then I wanna go in the top of the red section here, just in the red, and pull it through so the loop is there. Okay, so just pull it through so the loop is locked in, come through the loop, back down into the project, and through the loop one more time, and through the project. And this is the red color, so because of that's red, I just want you to weave it in, in and out of the red a total of three times, so one, Now I've done a candy can like this before but I never tacked it to have that bend. So I really struggled with having the bend permanent. So I think this uh, is a nice addition to forcing that bend to happen. So in and out three times. You can trim out your work then. Get your loop at the top and just shape it in order to get it to look perfect to the way that a candy can should be. So you just have to practice a little bit with that, but that is the candy cane. And you can see here, I'm a little looser with my crochet, so I have a bigger candy can than the original, but that's all good, and now that's good to go. So next time when we come back, we'll be doing the stocking here to continue with that. Bit.